Good morning, everyone. I'm at the base of Mount Mitchell, heading up. My base camp, heading up. Um, it's dreary this morning, but it's humid, so I got on a t-shirt. I didn't want to uh, get all hot and sweaty, but I got some updates for you on a few things I was talking about last week. So when I get to the top of Mount Mitchell, I'll tell you what they are. Okay, see you at the top. Okay, a little update um, on my dog candy. Um, she still seems to be doing fine. Oh, she still seems to be doing fine, but she's showing some signs of maybe not doing too fine. Here comes a car. Hold on. Wait till it goes by. And uh, she looks like she's losing weight. Kind of puny looking across her backside, and um, she has to run out every little bit and do this, and you know, her business, I guess. But she, um, I went to the vet's office Friday. She had been taking some medicine that was really helping her, helping her, you know. Do do's, and it was helping. It really was helping good. So it was over with. It was only a week's worth. So I went back up there, and the doctor gave me two more weeks worth. So I started her back on that, and she also wanted me to start her on a probiotic for her stomach, something called Flory Flora. So I got that, and I'm two days in on it. So hopefully, her stomach will chill out because it ain't been chilled out it's been pretty bad so hopefully that'll help her but um anyway um she still gets me up on during the night it's just it's hard to think you're going to sleep and then she barks out anyway here comes the intersection hold on okay I'm on the back stretch one <laughs> um, let's see what I do this weekend. Uh, went to the farmer's market. I got me some collards and some turnips. Comes a car. And I cooked them, but I didn't film it. But I'm sorry. I will next time because we love collards and we'll, I'll fix them again many, many times. So, um, you already seen me do my turnips, how I stew them. And uh, I fixed this a small hamburger steak and a big old cornbread. That's what we have for dinner Saturday night. Yesterday, I made a pot roast. Food Line had their beef chuck roast on sale. So, I bought about a $10 one, something like that. And I cut it in half because we never eat the whole thing. I freeze half of it and uh, put it in the crock pot with potatoes and onions, button mushrooms, and um, carrots. And um, I bought this package of, um, I don't know if it was McCormick's, I don't know if it was McCormick's or not, but it was slow cooker pot roast packet. And then mix it up with water and you pour it in there. And I cooked it on high for about four and a half to five hours. And it was absolutely delicious. The meat fell apart. All the seasonings and stuff had got in the carrots and the potatoes and the mushrooms. Well, so my husband don't eat mushrooms, but I sure enjoyed them. They were really good. Um, let's see. After we left the see, after we left the farmers market Saturday, we went and ate a country barbecue, and I did have barbecue this time. I had a barbecue sandwich. <laughs> that was good. And um, that's about all I did this weekend. But I'll check in as I go around. Um, I got a video on here. I bought me some new tennis shoes. I'm gonna put that on here. 
I'll stick it in probably right here. Okay, everyone. This is my new tennis shoes I just bought. I'll show them to you. I wore them today. They're Asics. They are so soft. Look at the bottom. Guidance line. I don't know. I love them. They're, they're a gel sole shoe. See? They're called Gel Cayano 24 Flight Foam. Nice looking, huh? They got a nice toe box, too, right here. Yep, I love them. Good shoe. Mm -mm -mm. I'll be walking and talking in these. Yes, I will. Ain't they cool? I don't, I don't have them on right now. I did wear them Sunday all day, and they were felt so good on my feet. They were so soft and smushy. But I didn't want to take a chance of two miles and a brand new pair of shoes. So I'm going to break them in a little bit before I get out here and walk in them. So my new balance right now is holding tight. So... Okay, I'm getting ready to go up Mount um, Mount Pilot, and uh, I'll catch you on the downhill on the other side. I'm over here where I found that Almond Joy, and it's gone. I hope somebody didn't pick that thing up and eat it. But it's in a blue wrapper, and it would stand out if it was around here somewhere. <laughs> I hope somebody, I bet I know what happened. An animal got it. Yep. Okay, I'm on the downhill. Um, have you all ever watched those shows where those men climb Mount Everest and everything that they have to go through? Oh my God, it's, it's crazy. Um, I'm talking losing fingers, losing toes, losing hands, losing their noses. I mean, it's like, I'm looking over to see if I see the deer. They were out there yesterday. But, I can give them a camera. Again, of course. But, um, if you haven't seen those people that, that have done that, you need to go on demand or Netflix or something and, and watch it because it is amazing what they go through and what they put themselves through and how they don't stop. I mean, they come to and are threatened with death and they keep going and they will die happy on that mountain if they die. It's just they come to do it and they're going to do it. Um, hell or high water, I mean, they're going to do it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm coming down here to the base of Mount Mitchell. Two. Go around two. 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 <laughs> um. I hope I, when I get to the top, uh, I still got my nose and my fingers. <laughs> oh, I don't think it'll be that harsh up there. <laughs> okay, walking talk is probably all I'm going to do today. Um, my glasses are ready from my eye exam a week or so ago. They called me, told me they were ready. <sighs> but I'm not sure if I'm going to go out today. It's a dreary day and... I think I'm just going to stay home and clean up a little bit and straighten up my kitchen and maybe clean up some of Candy's mess and um, I need to go through her dog bed. But anyway, let me go. There's a car stopping right here. Not for me, but just down the road. That was an Amazon delivery person. I'm glad that they at least wear a vest and stuff now so you kind of identify them as being an Amazon person. He was so friendly. He said, enjoy your walk. I said, I will, thank you, you have a good day. <laughs> he was really nice. Oh, man. But, uh, I love Amazon, oh my God. When I'm out shopping somewhere and I see something I want and I look at the price of it, I don't care what it is. Get my phone out, go right straight to Amazon, see how much I can get it for in two days. Oh. I heard this morning, for non-prime members, now through Christmas, no shipping charges. But of course it has to be a prime item. You can't just order anything you want. It's gotta be, when you go in there, hit, prime, hit the slide the little thing over for prime items, everything that's under prime, and that way you'll get it. So if you're not a prime member, 
you can still get free shipping. So that's good. I thought that was pretty cool. Now through Christmas. All right, I'm going up Mount Pilot. Okay, walking. I am almost at the downhill. I'm still on level hill right now. <laughs> Look right here, not over there. Whew. These trash cans are reeking today. I didn't smell them last. Oh, I know why. It was cold last week. It's humid today. Trash cans are smelling something. Smelling something up around here. <laughs> oh man. Almost home. Two miles. I love it. I'm so happy when I know it's coming to an end. And I've done it. Yes. I guess uh, soon I'll try to go around maybe three times, but not this week. <laughs> but I am going to the country park. <sighs> I haven't been out there in a long time. It's going to be all new to me. It'll be new to you and me. All right. Intersection. Intersection. Ferocious ain't out here today, so there's the fence where he poked his head through scared the crap out of me today. Okay, here's the um, clearing where the deer are. I'm just gonna peek over in here because they were out there yesterday. Well, not not here, that way over yonder. But they see they roam all around. They go all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. They're everywhere around here. Let me see. I don't see anything. It's quiet over there too. If they're moving, you can hear them. I don't see anything. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Well, I'm on the downhill, headed to the house. Headed to the house on this side. <laughs> um, hope the weather clears up. It's supposed to, I think tomorrow and Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll probably go to the country park and walk, do my walk out there. Um, I'm just glad that I got on a t-shirt. There's a lady walking, I'm gonna stop for a minute and say goodbye. And, um, oh, I just passed a lady that was walking a, um, one of those rescue, uh, what do you call those? Race the horses, or I me mean, race dogs. Oh, shoot. Greyhound. A greyhound. He was so pretty. And, um, anyway, he was happy to be out here. Anyway, I'm going to hang up here and, um, say goodbye. And I hope you have a great day. And, um, um, we'll talk again tomorrow. I gotta go get my glasses tomorrow. We'll go shopping tomorrow. Um, I went to Walmart. They didn't have any good stuff left. I went over there yesterday. But I'll find us a place. We'll go shopping tomorrow when I go pick up my glasses. Okay, have a good day and take care.